Hello everyone, welcome to Brussels in Belgium. We are here at the Ministry of Defense of the Belgian Armed Forces to discuss the future of mine warfare uh, with the Belgian Navy. Uh, I am here with Commander Bulto, the MCM Program Manager. Commander, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for wel welcoming us. Can you please first uh, briefly introduce uh, to our audience uh, the MCM program? Yeah, well, the uh, our MCM program is uh, for replacement uh, mine countermeasures. Uh, it's about the um, replacement of the capability of MCM from the Belgian and the Dutch navies. So um, the current uh, legacy MCM uh, capacity is was dev developed in the 80s. So it's 40 years ago. So um, the technology evolved. Uh, plus um, the um, NATO recognized some shortfalls that we want to solve with this new capability. So uh, we want to build 12 new ships, six for Belgium and six for the Netherlands, uh, with all their toolboxes. By toolboxes I mean the um, unmanned systems that will be used to um, do the uh, mine countermeasures operations. The concept is uh, well, I talked about the uh, shortfalls that we have with the current uh, legacy uh, systems. We are talking right now about uh, right now about uh, mine hunting. That means that we still have to go into the mine threat area. With the new technologies of unmanned systems, we can stay out of the area uh, so that our crews are safer. In fact, and we are more efficient because we can send several drones uh, in the mine threat area to do different tasks at once. Because with the current uh, legacy systems, you have to chase one mine at, it at a time. So we need more ships to do the, the, the operation. There were three uh, competitors uh, in, the, in, in the race to, to have the contract. And um, uh, we had an evaluation of uh, the, the, the offers, the best and final offers, in three domains. First, firstly, it's the, the, the price. Secondly, the essential security interests. And thirdly, everything that has to do with operational uh, logistics and technical uh, requirements. And uh, Belgian Naval and Robotics were the best in the three domains. Well, the collaboration with the Belgian Naval and Robotics is going uh, very well, in fact. Uh, I must say that um, every challenge that we face uh, during the, the course of the process, they find uh, solutions for us. And that's what we expect from, from them. It's, it's their job, in fact. But they, go, they are going further than that. They are really helping us to find uh, the adequate solutions so that at the end we have the product that we want. Uh, they are very uh, client-oriented. And that's for me a very good thing. Um, I would like also emphasize the fact that uh, yeah, Naval Group, because it's a consortium of Naval Group and uh, ECAR Robotics, that Naval Group uh, has a lot of expertise in building uh, ships and ECA with their expertise of um, unmanned systems is a, a good match, I, in my opinion. We uh, already achieved uh, a couple of milestones. The, the first one was the system requirements review. That means that the contractor translated the um, uh, requirements from the Cahier Special de Charge uh, of the um, request for quotation into his own specification to be certain that his engineers uh, could understand the, the, the needs that was uh, written. Um, so we did that last year in October uh, and this year in May we tackled the um, SFR, System Functional Review. That means that then we look at the systems that we need to fulfill all the functions that are needed, according to our requirements, of course. Uh, and then um, now we are in the phase that we are uh, doing more testing and we are going to the preliminary design review where we will, uh, in fact, uh, uh, fix the configurations uh, that we want to have on board of the ships. The UAV uh, was, uh, yes, the selection uh, was uh, a few weeks ago. It's the Skeldar uh, that was chosen uh, for yeah, helping us uh, in the situational awareness and the reconnaissance. And also um, the UAV will have some um, uh, payloads on board specifically to uh, uh, detect mines uh, just on the water or a bit under the surface of the, of the water.
So for the next uh, steps of the program, yeah, we'll have uh, many uh, challenges to, 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 to face. The first one is the first steel cut, which will be done uh, next year, uh, in mid, uh, around summer. And then uh, we have also the simulator that will be needed for the uh, um, training of the, the, the crews. Uh, this one will be installed in Egermin in Oostende, Ecole de Guerre de Min, which is the NATO Center of Excellence in Mine uh, Countermeasures. And uh, that will be done in uh, mid-22. Uh, and then, last but not least, of course, the delivery of the first ship will be in mid-2024. Uh, uh, the first one will be a Belgian one, and then afterwards, after approximately a year, it will be a Dutch uh, uh, ship, and then uh, every, uh, every six months, uh, a Belgian and a Dutch uh, until 2030, when we will achieve the um, full operational capability of uh, our MCM program. In our next video, we will look at the technical aspect of the future MCM uh, system of the Belgian and Net Royal Netherlands navies.